Welcome to Microchem's Experiments. Today we are going to determine the hydroxymethyl furfural or HMF content of honey sample. This method involves five steps. Reagent preparation, sample preparation, filtration, taking absorbance and calculation. For this procedure, we need a balance machine, vortex mixture, UV spectrophotometer, volumetric flask, measuring cylinder, funnel, conical flask, filter paper, potassium ferrocyanide trihydrate, zinc acetate dihydrate, sodium disulfate and deionized water. Let's start the analysis. At first, we are going to prepare gadget solution 1. Take weight of 7.5 grams potassium ferrocyanide trihydrate. Transfer the potassium ferrocyanide trihydrate into a 50 ml volumetric flask. Add some deionized water and shake the flask to dissolve potassium ferrocyanide trihydrate in water completely. Now add enough water to make the final volume of 50 ml. Carrot solution 1 is now ready to use. Now we will prepare carrot solution 2. Take weight of 15 grams zinc acetate dihydrate. Transfer the zinc acetate dihydrate into another 50 ml volumetric flask. Add some deionized water and shake the flask to dissolve zinc acetate dihydrate in water completely. Now add enough water to make the final volume of 50 ml. Carrot solution 2 is now ready to use. Last reagent which you need to prepare for this experiment is 0.2% sodium disulfide. Take weight of 0.2 gram sodium disulfide. Transfer the sodium disulfide into another 100 ml volumetric flask. 
Add enough water to make the final volume of 100 ml. Shake the flask to dissolve the chemical completely. Zero point two percent sodium disulfide is prepared and ready to use. In this step, we will prepare sample. Take five grams honey sample into a clean fifty ml volumetric flask. Add about 25 ml deionized water. Vortex the flask to dissolve the sample and make a homogenized mixture. Now add 0.5 ml carrot solution 1. Vortex the flask. Add zero point five ML carrot solution two. Vortex the flask again. Add enough water to make the final volume of 100 ml.
Now we need to filter the sample solution. Discard first 5 ml of the filtrate. Collect about 15 ml filtered sample solution. In this step, we will measure absorbance. Bring two test tubes for sample and blank preparation. Transfer 5 ml of the filtered solution into each of the sample and blank test tubes. Now add 5 ml deionized water into the sample tube. Add 5 ml of 2% sodium disulfide solution into the blank tube. Vortex both of the tubes for proper mixing. Now we are ready for taking absorbance using UV spectrophotometer. Open data acquisition software. Select the basic fixed option. Click on settings. Write the test description. Now set two wavelengths at 284 nm and 336 nm. Now write the sample name. Click on measure icon. The instrument is asking for blank, so fill a quad skewvet with prepared blank solution. Place the cuvet into the cuvet holder of the spectrophotometer. Click on OK. Now the instrument is asking for sample. Take out the cuvet from the spectrophotometer and clean with deionized water.
fill the cuvette with prepared sample solution. Place the cuvette into the cuvette holder of the spectrophotometer. Now click on continue option. We have got two absorbance of the sample solution at 284 and 336 nanometers. Now we have to calculate the AGMF content of the sample. Sample weight W is 5.053 grams. Absorbance of sample at 284 nanometer is 0.284. Absorbance of sample at 336 nanometer is 0 0.004. By solving the equation, we got the HMF content of our tested honey sample is 41.48 ppm.